Hello, hello, we're back with Terranelius, episode 39, going into part two here, and I think everyone is frozen. Yes, everyone is frozen. Um, you know what that what? means, guys. Everybody should immediately start singing Let It Go. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, you're, my you're unfrozen now. Everybody's videos are moving again. Cool. I was like okay. literally trying to stay as still as possible. <laughs> so even if it went back, it would... <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but yeah, so we see the group of everybody, um, new party members included, transport to the Feywild in a flash of light. And then everybody is in a swamp. <laughs> yes. Um, no, yeah, I mean, you guys don't feel a whole lot. It's just kind of like you, you're suddenly there. Um, everything is channeled through Darius, and Darius, you... <sighs> Boop everybody into it ex into existence here <laughs> in in the Feywild. Boop. Yeah. Boop. Boop. There's just right there's just silence just... in this swamp, and then somebody just hear boop, and everybody's there. No, like, it's, it's Darius like just runs around in a circle and just one by run, one <laughs> boops everybody on the nose. Yep. Just what? <laughs> <laughs> it won't work unless I boop you. Yeah. Get booped. Get booped. Get booped. Yeah. Boopty yeah. boop. <laughs> Get heckin' booped, son. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so everybody appears in the Feywild, right? So as I described before, wild jungle, primordial jungle, very look, looks very, very similar, um, uh, Raya, to the primordial jungle vision that you saw um, in uh, Tuhunapu's vision that he gave you. Um, and y'all are there in a swamp, ankle deep in mud. Yay. So, yeah. Okay. Um, immediately, do I see the hummingbird? No. Oh, darn it. Yeah, no hummingbird here right now. I mean, there's a tree. Yeah, same tree. It has the, mm -hmm. the D inscribed in it. Yep. I guess the, I would want to make a survival roll to, like, see if I can find any, like, kind of tracks or something. I mean, you, you guys know the general direction in which the. Okay. The like hummingbird cedar is, yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I guess, like, it's just a, a matter of, like, what does this look like? Because everybody kind of, like, trudges off into the swamp. Um, How deep is this water? Ankle deep on a human, on a normal human person. So, and... like, knee, thigh deep, something like that to you. I mean, I guess I'd ca try to cast Pass Without Trace on everybody. Okay. How many people can it Well, here, let's do it on? Let's... Let's go. Because it's also um, like it, a 30 foot radius. Isn't it's it? a 30 foot. Each creature you choose with a 30 feet of you. So that so should 30 be able foot to cover diameter everything. then. Um, yes. So oh, that sounds like radius. Or no, Wait. it would be radius. Or it'd be radius. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be able to cover everybody. It should cover everybody as long as you're like in the center. Yeah. Right. Um, so I think maybe when you cast that, and Akana like knows the magic you're casting, she kind of comes up to you and says in giant, um, well, since you're um, going to be using that spell on us, Ari, do you mind if I take the lead and guide us there? <laughs> it sounds like that would be the easiest way to do this. So then you're in the middle of everyone. Make a persuasion roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, has everybody react to Akna? Actually, you can't, you can't hear, understand what she's saying, actually, but... I would say, would she just speak in primordial? No, I think she speaks in giant to you. All right. Um. Okay. A persuasion. She does. She's not trying to like offend you or one up you or anything. I know, but it pisses but it, me it off. Comes and I off, off that way. In giant. You yep. Know? She's but she's so nice, and I just don't like it. Okay, that's not bad. Sixteen. So I think she just goes. Yeah, that's. You're right. I know I know that you would That's... technically be leading everybody, and I, I don't want to step on your toes or anything, but it seems like the best option. No, you're right. That That is the most logical option. All right. Awesome. Well, I'm glad that I'm glad that you're not offended or anything. Okay. Um, Ava, and then kind of like whistles, and her jaguar like kind of slopes up with her, and they kind of like take the lead. So what I do we see Darius, from like, yeah. I think Darius Ari just goes like, <laughs> after yeah. like, as she walks away. <laughs> I think Darius makes it a point to keep, like, his party, um, like, close to him. 
Right. So you want the people in the radius of uh, your save thing to be the actual party members, not... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Basically. Uh, well, let's figure out the the order uh, right now, shall we? Um, what What is the order in which you guys are, um, like... Um, what's it called? I would, I, can I make an insight roll to see if I can tell Raya's high? Uh, I mean, I don't think Raya has done anything to, I, it, when, when a situation comes up in which Raya, like, is interacting with someone or something comes up, then you can definitely make a roll. Um, I was gonna say, or yeah. possibly if you want to make a perception check to see if you can smell it. Smell it? Me. Yeah, that might be the, the first roll, yeah, if you're, if there's not anything... I mean, either way, I think I want Raya close to me. Yeah, that makes so sense. I just, I just want her close to me. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm just doing my job. Yeah. Don't get all sentimental on me. <laughs> For sure. Um, but yeah, make it make a perception check, and we'll see if you okay. smell it on her. Yeah. Since okay. you're gonna be close anyway. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Nine is not gonna cut it. So. Raya's high out of her mind, but you don't know yet, so. Yet. Yeah. I have better insight than I do perception, oddly enough. So, um. That is really strange. If everyone that wants to, yeah. If everyone wants to kind of set themselves up here like they would be, if, if you guys are, like, in order, and then I'll kind of figure out where everybody else is. Just so we can have a, a standard order for the future here. Um, okay. Is that the is that the giant lady? Right uh, there? yeah, right there is the giant lady. I'm just kind of dragging them so along. So she's the in the right front, now. and then yeah, so she'll be in the front. Be, the so let's say the front is the top. So she's right there with Ava. Well, I was gonna say I'd probably be by Darius. So. So I would want to be probably like right next to. Yeah, Maya. that makes sense. And then I'm assuming Miggy would probably be next to me. Mm -hmm. I want Buck flanking Raya. I, um, yeah. Yeah, let's let's do it like this. If we're doing like double file. Um, but like probably it, gonna, it doesn't. I don't think it necessarily needs to be double file. Uh, it, it will be for like in any closed quarters that you're in. Um, but like True. so, this will be kind of like. If you're tight cores, but otherwise it will be kind of like spread out, but in the same same fashion is is just just for my convenience. Um, so let's have I think Toehill will probably be in the back there. I mean, honestly, Buck is gonna be like flying around, like he's not gonna be walking, so he's kind of off. And would um, Maggie be next to Ari? Um, I mean, I'm next to Ari because she wants to keep I mean, me close, so I don't know if. Yeah, I think Mickey Mickey's fine in the back. He's not. That's fine. We don't have to be in two and two. Yeah. It can be. Yeah. Um, I think maybe he'll be there actually. No, someone someone needs to be in the back that like is not just toe heel. Uh, so I think something something along <laughs> those lines. Fine. Yeah, something along those lines. If it's like double, but then obviously it can be spread out a little bit more if it's depending on. Right. It's not necessarily are. exactly five feet. Next but that's feet. kind of like the general layout. Um, okay. okay. Like five feet two inches. <laughs> yep. So that is the situation there. So you guys are kind of making your way through the swamp, and uh, stealth. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, right. Stealth with path out of trace. Let's do it. Let's have a billion people make this roll right now. Twenty-five. I'm hoping that throughout the course of this season, a lot of these people die so that ah, we can just. Right. Like, Okay, that's Kill a little 17. That that's true. 23. Not bad. Rise the one I was kind of worried about, so. I mean, <laughs> how can I make sure Darius has advantage with this? Or as, a story. has a straight roll? Yeah, I think so. Right, yeah. Um, I mean, you have Pass Without a Trace that I have disadvantage too, and I just go with it most of the time. How can I get a 26? Plus, Toity already rolled a seven. Dang it, she got seven. one better than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I love this. Doesn't matter. 
Well, we all... Mm. <laughs> Darius crit failed, so none of this matters. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, it definitely doesn't. Okay, yeah. So, no matter what... No matter what anyone else gets, there is a crit fail. So, you are not being stealthy. As His you... armor is a little bulkier and louder than... I mean, yeah, you, you're not used to it yet, right? And so you're just clomp, clomping over things and... Um, yeah, I think Akna at one point kind of like turns back and, and, and says to you in primordial Darius. And like when Akna speaks, she's always having her hands like this, like just kind of clasped in front of her. And she says, oh, uh, Darius, that's your name, right, Darius? So this like yes. seven foot five, you know, fire looking woman, uh, but not with hair, uh, fire hair, says that. Yeah. And so she says, um... Could you try just keeping it down just a little bit? You think I think you're being a little noisy, even with Ari's magic. I mean, I'm trying. Oh, I know it's new yes. armor and all that. I I'm sorry. I'm I'm in your way, aren't I? That this is just forget I ever no, said no, anything. It's, it's more like there are big puddles of water, and I am a big rock. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, well, um... I should have just gone uh, with the story. <laughs> yeah, she just kind of, like, nods and... Literally, you could have gotten anything else and we probably would have been fine. Yep. Yeah, I, I, like, that, exactly. that was my thing. I'm like, as long as I don't roll a nat one, but that's kind of what I'm worried about. <laughs> Um, so I think what happens and is... what did you know? <laughs> right, so we, we, we get this scene as you guys are kind of clomping through the swamp. And nothing... I think we don't... You guys don't get attacked as you're like going through the puddles and all this stuff. Um, but you guys, so there's like a day of travel here, like a full eight hours. Um, and it basically like the, maybe, uh, maybe like, a, hmm, I'm trying to think. Cause I think that's what I said. I think it was like a couple of hexes away, like one or two. Um, yeah. Let me look at the map real quick because if that's true, I might, you might might have had a different time frame. In two days. Um. Yeah, let's say it's one hex away. Um. So you <laughs> should be able to no problem. Make it there in a day. Um. Either decide to not talk to him until the next day and then make your way back, or talk to him that night and then sleep there and then make your way back but basically at the end of the day tomorrow will be when the 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 timer goes off um so if you the the the, the idea would be to be back in the same spot you guys were when you get back because then you'll be transported back to the room um so yeah so we get like a basically a full day of travel and i think we get a couple of shots of various like i don't know like it not monsters exactly but certainly like animals and stuff um watching you um as you guys are making your way through the swamp nothing like jumps out and attacks you um but i think we get a few shots of some of the like plants like moving ever so slightly as you guys are like making your way and you guys don't you, you guys can make a perception check to notice this i suppose whoever whoever wants to make i, I probably just to not have everyone make a perception check. Let's have whoever has the highest perception roll with advantage. I have a plus two. Plus six. It's Toity. Probably Toity, yeah. I'm assuming. Unless it's Miggy. Uh, I don't the think highest investigation, Maggie. I remember. Yeah, he has high investigation. I don't think he has a high perception. I'll wait to click it. Um, click it or tick it. Yeah, he has a three. Everybody okay, wears your seatbelts. 13. 17. Oh, 17. Right yeah. Advantage, right? Um, yeah, let me roll something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does whatever a spider can. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> that means we're going to run into spiders. Okay, yeah, so Toity, you notice that... Um, I mean, yeah, the trees and stuff seem to be moving ever so slightly. It's not like they're, like, reaching out to attack you, but they're definitely, like, alive. Like, all of the trees are. And 
it's very much like Fangorn Forest type, where they're like kind of like shuffling around, but they're not like move like le- like walking and stuff. It's just like it's like kind of creak one way or the other. Obviously I'll pro- moving. Uh, oh man, who's the who's the one behind me? Is that Toe Hill? Uh, yes. Actually, do any of us know anything about the Feywild? Darius knows some things. So I'd probably turn to slightly. I'd probably turn to Darius and like, should the trees be moving like they are? Uh, Darius, you have no idea, but I mean, would I know sense. anything about the Feywild? Y'all can make an Arcana check, yeah. Anyone who wants to. I'll just say out loud, should the trees be moving like they are? Twenty-one. <laughs> Dang it! I almost also got a twenty-one. Yeah. What do I know about the Feywild? Yeah. So. This seems... I don't know why you would know anything about the field. I mean, I guess you're a ranger. I I mean, so I hear lots of interesting stories while I was in Africa of people who... That's true. That's true. Okay, yeah, so maybe some tribal shaman somewhere there, um, some, like, tiefling shaman, um, told you a story once about how he was transported to the Feywild by his, like, archfey... The archfey he worshipped, and, and, like, uh, when he was there, like, all the trees, like moved and like a whole forest just got up and like went somewhere else once and you're like oh yeah yeah that makes sense trees can move uh darius do you want to make an arcana check because i think you have a specific perspective that might glean more information if you get a similar role (laughs) darius an arcana check that's cute see the issue is you keep doing arcana things wow (laughs) yeah Darius darius knows nothing that's a three that is a three. Uh, yeah, so that happens. Um, I don't even know anything else about the Feywild. Not about trees, it. specifically. Oh. And that was what you're rolling for. Yeah. Um, These trees were my friends. Yeah, I mean, they they move. Lots of things sense. are alive. In a the lot of Fey- things are alive in the Feywild. Yeah, right. That's the, the trees the are alive. With the sound of murder. <laughs> so I just like turn back to him and I'm like, it can be. <laughs> yeah. Um. This wouldn't be the first time we got attacked by trees. Wouldn't be the second time we got attacked by trees. <laughs> it's true. Yep, yep. I I have written Spider Buck's theme song now. Spider Buck, Spider Buck. Does whatever a spider buck does. Can he swing from a web? Why would he? He, he can, can fly. fly. <laughs> Look out. Here comes the spider buck. You're perfect. Awesome. That's amazing. Just, Write just, that out down. Of, just out of curiosity, would this be the third time or fourth? I think it's the third that if we got attacked by got trees. Attacked by trees? No, this is uh, the second time. It was, no, it would be the third. third time if they got it. If you attacked again, it would be the. Third part of me is part of me is like this would be the third time. Part of me is like we've got attacked by so many things. Would it be? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think what happens is you guys. I mean, it's pretty much evening at this point. I mean, that though that this definition has no meaning here. It's basically always kind of evening uh, in the Feywild. So you guys definitely get to like a, a good distance you've you've traveled for about eight hours um and you start seeing signs of i don't want to say civilization exactly but the sign of some sentient beings presence um so akana definitely discovers some tracks and it's like okay this seems like a person of some sort they wear shoes so that's one thing um Vandals. uh probably like moccasins is what it looks like i would like to cast primeval awareness mm-hmm uh, and like just sense if there's like what's around here. Okay. Yeah. Within a mile. Uh, what 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 can you sense? Aberrations, celestials, dragons, elementals, fiends, fays, and undead. Um, lots of fay. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> lots of fay. Uh, okay. Big surprise there, but nothing okay. else besides fay. Yeah. Okay. At Doesn't least... reveal their creature or their number or location. Yep. Just there's lots of fay. There's like within a mile. There's just a ton of them. Um. Yeah. Not not maybe not a ton. Um. I mean, it doesn't tell you numbers, so it's just there is at least one fay in within a mile. Okay. <laughs> Which does not tell you anything. At least there's anything. nothing else. Or, yes, at least there's, there's nothing else. There's around. no celestials, fay, or uh, fiends, or undead, or aberrations, or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, the undead have not invaded the fay wild yet. Um, Good. <laughs> So, yet. Well, you never know what happens internally. So, 
I think what happens, right, so you, you, you find tracks, and then you also find, like, I don't know, like, fetishes, like, kind of hanging from trees, like, trinkets and charms and, um, like, feathers and stuff, right? Like, those sorts of, like, religious symbols. Um, and it's maybe not, I mean, you guys can make a religion check to see if you recognize it as anything. Honestly, it would be, it would be, like, Akna who would make this roll because she would be the one who would know about religious significance um, of stuff um, here. But um basically you see oh wow oh she got a gosh. 22 crit she knows yeah so Whoa. i think she looks at this and she says um oh i think i recognize this uh ari remember when i was telling you the story about the hummingbird suitor or not let me get a story but like how i i knew he was really sad well this is a what's well, a a fey charm um, it's, I, I heard about it in the, in, in the tales I've, I've, uh, had read to me. It's a, well, it's, it's basically a wind chime that sings with morning. With morning, like sad? With sadness. Yeah, and, and she speaks, she says this in, she says this in Primordial, and their words don't have the same, like, the, the word for morning and the word for morning are different enough that you can tell it. Darn! No, I know, okay, I just, I'm like, yeah, sadness morning. Sure, okay. So this was hung up here and, as, like, a memorial so, to something. So she just kind of frowns, and she's like, a morning for what? I don't know exactly. And then she, Doesn't like, know what the 22 religion... <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, that's all she, like, it, it doesn't tell her anything else. It's literally just a charm for morning. Like, oh, it doesn't, there's okay. no any specifying marks on it. So it's a generic charm for morning. So I think Ari just says, I wonder who the hummingbird singer, singer is morning. I don't know. And then you guys go on a little bit, and then you see, like, a, what, what basically is the equivalent of a get out sign, like a stay out sign, like private property, like, Stay out of my swamp, sort of a situation, right? Get like, out of my swamp! <laughs> right. I am going to make an ogre from the Feywilds in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But that's that's basically what happened, right? Is you guys come across this big old like skull and crossbones style, like do not come any closer, like I you'll shoot you on sight, sort of a situation. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and Akna looks back and has her hands clasped. She's like, um, I imagine we're still going to keep going. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, so it, I guess is the plan to go there now or rest and then go there? Because it's been like an eight-hour travel. We'll see if we do it. If we go in now, we can use our spell slots and wake up in the morning with more. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then on top of that, if this guy likes us, he can hide us for the night. So. Yeah, true. Okay. Yeah, so Akna nods. And, and that'll give us more time to try to convince him. Right. It's like, all right, well, um, this way. And then, you know, keeps going. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Toidy, would you make a perception check for me real quick? This is worrisome. Perception? Yeah. I'm going to make one for Mickey. Woo! Woo! 19! Okay, you got a 19. I'm just going to see if Mickey, Mickey and you would be the people who would maybe notice this. Let's see what he gets. Hey, he did better 20. than me. He okay. got a 20. Yeah, you both notice, um, probably like at the same time, so you guys give each other a look. Um, so Toheel is definitely trying to like get a good view of either Raya or Ari's butts. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, it's very obvious that that's what he's stepping to do. As you guys are going of on, all here. the things that is not. I, I figured you weren't expecting that, but that's what's happening. <laughs> Did I just kill him. Uh, you don't notice this. I mean, you can roll to notice. Wait, this. give me, give me a second. Give me. Darius is, Darius is in front. Toidy, get say the word. Just say the word, and we will have oh, one so less. Wait, about to get in a fight with some guy. I don't know. I don't know. I think he looks at Toidy to see how he Toidy reacts, right? Because you both guys both notice this. <laughs> Toidy, how are you like responding to it? Wow. What's your face look like? 
he's like, if a police officer is like, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, just like roll your eyes or something. Oh, I'm I'm looking at my spells. Give me a second. Let me think. <laughs> Hmm. I just, I of all fire. the perception check things, I just was mm-hmm, not. Mm-hmm. We're in this very intense moment I know, right now. And... I know. <laughs> also, why would you want to look at my butt in plate armor? You're the one in front of him. I'm Size not going to make the joke. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a toady. Like, you roll your eyes hey, or whatever. Turn... Yeah, because Mickey's the one right next turn to him. I want to know so. the joke. <laughs> Because, like, how you respond in, like, in the moment is going to determine what Miggy does here. Oh, I want to... Here's the thing. I want to cast a cantrip to a very... You know what? I think... I think Tony just going to use some vicious mockery. Says, keep your eyes in your head, you dimwit. <laughs> okay, yeah, so you want to legitimately, like, damage him with psychic magic? Well, it's the only damaging cantrip I have, really, that I don't... I you don't want to really, like, waste, yeah. I don't want to waste. Um, okay, yeah, so... He has to make a wisdom save? Yeah? <laughs> a DC zero wisdom save? Wait, that's not right. <laughs> uh, he succeeds. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, my... my. zero. Okay, give me a second. Yeah, I gotta... Mess it up. My spell attack stuff got messed up. Give me a second. Um, oh, be- thank you, Carly. I appreciate that. I don't know how that happened. I must have been scrolling over it and accidentally scrolled away from it. Yeah, sorry, spell save 15. My attack bonus is 7. I just can't stop smiling. <laughs> <laughs> A trajectory has been established. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a wisdom save. You t- what is it? Fifteen. Okay. Nineteen. Okay, so he succeeds. So y- your words maybe hurt him emotionally, but not physically. Um, <laughs> this which is probably for the best, to be yeah, honest. But I mean, he feels that you were like legitimately trying to damage him with some sort of magic. Um, so he like you know stark upright like, oh what what uh, I wasn't trying to do it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> And I think uh, what you, does, you, what you just Miggy... see, yeah, Toy, you just see Miggy put one hand on his rapier, just like, and just like, I'll turn, like I'll staring turn Miggy. daggers at, at this guy. I, I'll, I'll turn to Miggy, I'll be like, oh, no, 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 you should let Ari handle this. <laughs> to, you say that to Miggy? Yes. I, um, like, say what? <laughs> and, and yeah, Miggy says nothing. Can I make some kind of check? Yeah, you want to make an insight check to see what's going on? Insight. <laughs> I intentionally said that out loud. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, so you notice... Oh, I, I don't think you could... Because he's not doing it anymore, so you, you can't right. tell instantaneously that Tohi was doing that, but you te- you can tell that he was doing something bad, and Miggy and Tohi are getting on him for it. I'm just like, guys, shut up back there. Yeah, and... <laughs> Mickey kind of like frowns at that. She's like, "No, I wasn't doing oh, anything." Like, <laughs> I should, I should note. Ari heard me say, "Keep your eyes in your head." Right. Yeah. So, but Ari has no context. Yeah, she has no that. context for yeah. Okay. She failed. So she, she failed the original role. Raya probably might be able to figure this out. I mean, you're right there, Raya. I'm super Do- high, and so I feel like I just be like, "Well, of course, my eyes are gonna stay in my head." <laughs> Why would They're your eyes falling. go out of your head? Are they about to fall out? <laughs> and I feel like I just be like, "Yeah, good. yeah, yeah." No, Ari's just like, "Guys, calm down back there. We're just focus." Yeah, and so Miggy, I think, just like is still like staring at Toheel, and Toheel just like puts up his hands like this, like, like the, this, um, does, um. Darius? No. Um, Akna, I, Hurricane, no. Ava, Buck, Toity, Miggy, Raya. Miggy, Ar- thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, I'm, just gonna let, I'm just going to let him go down the list because he'll get there eventually. Mm-hmm. Uh, say, clearly like, not proven himself to the party yet then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> Darn it, Jordan can't remember. Yeah. Ouch. Um, does like Miggy like, say anything to Darius? No. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I think. Yeah. 
I, I kind of wish that Mickey would have punched him a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Well, I mean, I think he 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 could he t- he could tell that Toity tried to do vicious mockery on him because he knows what vicious mockery is. So I think he's just like, fine, like you you gave him a punch even if it didn't like land. Like we'll we'll just leave this for now. But like you can tell that Mickey is <laughs> decidedly now. decidedly uncomfortable. Uh, Toity, the rest of the way here. I wonder why. Yeah. I mean, like, Liz, because because Mickey cares a lot about Ari and Raya, so he's just like, "How dare you!" This was not in any romance novel that I read. Um, <laughs> that is sure. disgusting. It probably was. It probably was. He just, yeah, didn't probably. realize it. Yeah. Um. No, he just read the like Amish romances, guys. <laughs> like <laughs> the pure. Those are the worst. <laughs> I was going to say, he has a book called The Kissing yeah, I'm just Man. kidding. How yeah. innocent are his no. books? Yeah, it's true. Uh, cool. So that happens. Everything is innocent when you're a child. Mickey's not a child. He's just willfully He's an optimist. Ignorant. Yeah, yeah. So y'all we'll keep, break him eventually. Y'all keep going. And you guys see signs, right, of more, not like legitimate, like actual physical signs, but like more um, signifying marks that there is someone here who has kind of like made this place their own. So eventually you guys get to what amounts to a boardwalk. So literally like a platform and it just goes up to this boardwalk and it's just like this path that goes over this like mucky water um, that's made of like, you know, boards. Um and uh, it leads somewhere into the fog beyond. And Akna gets up to it and she says, this looks promising. Seems like the place we should go. Does that make sense, Ari? I mean, well, can I check her work with a survival check? Sure, yeah, I don't I know. I guess survival check, yeah. I'm like, I don't, yeah. Yep, seems right. Yeah. Seems good to you. I'm like, Okay, Continue. awesome. Let's let's go talk to the hummingbird suitor then, and uh, she leads y'all forward. And so I think there comes a point where Tweety. I mean, all of these like trees and stuff are moving, right? There comes a point where you definitely get to a um. It, the boardwalk goes on for a little while, um. And so you guys get to a point where, I mean, the boardwalk is going th- between these, like, islands and stuff. These little, like, islands in the middle of the swamp. Um, and you're the one who notices before anyone else does, I think, because of that perception check, um, that these trees, it's not that they look, well, yeah, I mean, they look weird, bad haunting um it's not like the awakened trees that you met like in front of the, sh- the flesh tunnel stuff like where it was like weird and diseased it looks like I mean, maybe there's some some of that there's like mushrooms on them and stuff um make make a perception check just to like find more of these details of like what if you can kind of figure out what's what's going on here with these trees I was going to say you could have advantage oh. because of the original Oh, role. 21 then. Yeah. So, um, 21, I think. It's almost as if, so if, if, if the rest of these trees are an embodiment of life, right? The trees that you saw before, just like untamed, like kind of wild life. This is life that is dying. Life that is, that doesn't feel like it's, 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 it's these all, all these trees are dying slowly. Um, they're dying slow, painful deaths. And then their faces open, and you realize that they have faces, and that's where I want everybody to roll initiative. Great. So, yeah. You realize that the trees have faces. Yeah. Sounds like an awesome metal band. The trees. Is this faces. the fourth time that we've been attacked by trees? It is the third time. Well, that, I've, when he got attacked by the dust monsters the first time, were there trees there, or am I thinking of a separate campaign? The the what monsters? Uh, the... No, I didn't click my token. <gasps> no. Yeah, I, I clicked my token. Um, the wrong token. The, I, I clicked it on the last um, thing that we were on. Ah, uh, got it. Yeah, let me... 
I can input manually. Ooh, nice. Oh my gosh. I apologize. <laughs> I just totally have fine. been letting everybody down today. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Uh, no, I've been letting everybody down today with my little stealth there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is why this is happening is is because of that failed stealth here. Um, y'all, even though y'all made good perceptions, they managed to kind of like uh, finagle you guys into a position where you're compromised. Oh, there's so many things I have to roll for. Um, okay. <laughs> Make sure they all have separate hit points. Oh, crap. <laughs> Dang it! Every single time. It's a good Better time. Not every now single time, than in the middle but... of combat. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You're welcome. What can she say except you're welcome? Uh, well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's take a quick break, so like we can set up this whole thing instead of just like sitting around watching me roll initiative for like 20 minutes. Um, let's let's take a quick break. Um, and then we'll come back and fight some trees. Uh, when we come back and turn on, stick around. We got more fun to come. <laughs> 